Hello everybody. This time I would like to do something with text. I go to the text tool and you see I my font is Rockwell Extra Bold and uh, I'm in front view and click in the viewport and have my name written in here I center it <clears throat> in all dimensions, hit the A key, and I would like to point out a couple of things. First, here you see we have one polygon with three edges and three vertices. This is of course not true, but this is, uh, we cannot select a single letter here for example it's a binary choice either all or nothing and there is another thing which is a, a problem maybe if i zoom in on the p here i can zoom in as close as i want <clears throat> if i zoom in on the r here you see it disappears very quickly i think it has got something to do with the clipping in Modo, which lets us show inside geometry, and because this word here is a strange polygon, maybe this does not work. Anyway, what we can do is we can uh, shift X this and bring it out, invert the selection and delete. And now I go to the back side, delete this as well, front view again, and now you see we can zoom in on any thing as we like and we can select all these single letters. Um, what I want to do really is I want to bend this text and one could say, yeah, well, we have nice letters here, let's bend these. I will show you the words, then you know why this does not work. You see, all these letters here are one huge n-gon. And we have not three uh, polygons or vertices, sorry. We have 911 and we have five polygons. One polygon per letter and Modo cannot bend this. You could say, yeah, well, we get rid of some of these vertic vertices and connect uh, the vertices together or cut uh, this geometry, but this is quite challenging. I think I know a better and quicker way and would like to show you this. It's uh, the perfect thing to do on a rainy Sunday like today. So I go out of words and then rename this mesh to a template, make a new mesh and rename this to text and then go to the topo and uh, I start retopologing all these letters. This gives the nicest results, believe me. So first the pen tool and I want to uh, snap to geometry mode auto. So I snap to vertices and edges and then I can start here and next one here and one more here good then I switch to the topology pen shift click if I want to extrude new geometry shift click again if I don't press shift then I can I can move things around so I will speed this up in the video from now on and come back when I'm finished.
Okay, the next phase is hardening edges exactly the way I described in my ornament shape tutorial. We need to make sure that all these edges hold their position. So let me start. I will again speed this up in the video. So, now since all the edges are hardened, the next part is tweaking a bit. So the T key, and let me start here, and The next part is adding additional geometry so we can uh, bend it properly. So I put in three edges uniform and three here, three here and here and here and here. Drop the two. Control copy, control V, W key and bring this over to here and you see now our sub letters match exactly the template. So we don't need to see it anymore and I go to top view uh, Deform, bend, click here, perspective, and I think I move this. Mm, minus 70 point, uh, 75 degrees, like so. Drop the two. <clears throat> Put everything in the middle top view again, I activate the grid and rotate this so it is more or less flat, like so. Drop the tool. Now, if you want to, uh, let me show. <clears throat> If I bevel this out on the blue handle, then you see the end is not closed. It might be completely legit to have it this way, but if you would like to have it the uh, closed, then use the thicken tool. So polygon, thicken, and bring this out to wherever you like, like so. Drop the tool. Now we can select edges in here, in here, in here. And one more in here. Alt-C with a count of two. And symmetry and depending on how hard you would like to have these edges, you bring them out a lot or I put them about to 15% yeah, or whatsoever. That's good. Now here is our bent text and we can 
add some fancy additional shape to it. Go to top view, uh, bring out maybe a circle with 24 edges, something like this, like so. Perspective, then make it a bit bigger and go to the front view, shift C and cut through here. Drop the tool, select the bottom row, L key, delete. <coughs> Mm, maybe shift X P key select all these polygons B for bevel bevel them in on the red handle a bit drop the tool select an edge in here Another one in here, Alt C, with a rather sharp one. Now we can bring this down here to W to here. Yeah, why not? Go to the Render tab, A key bring everything into sight. Ah, but first I go back to model and select this here and this material, make this the background and hide material again, call this text and unhide, go back to the render tab and Let's give this a material, but first I want to make this a bit bigger, 888, control enter and it automatically keeps the aspect ratio, like so. I didn't subdivide this here. So tap better. Let's first go to the environment material <clears throat> and I want to have this constant and completely black, like so. Then I go to the text material uh, make zero specularity and make it a dark blue like so mm, so yes good then i go to the background material zero specularity and make this also some blue but a lighter one something like this good next i go to render add layer uh, custom materials cell edges material and we make this here yet another blue like so and now the edges are very pretty highlighted. We can make them maybe a bit stronger. Go up with the edge quality. Be careful with this one. This one can really influence your render time. I go to 4. Then uh, maybe give the text material a bit of reflection. Maybe 20%. 
and uh, fifty percent Fresnel. And let's render this. Okay. Now I would like to maybe go down with the saturation a bit to 70%. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And 0.5 and input white level to 0.8. No. Point four. Yes, that looks good. And if what about blue? Mm, no. If you would, would like to save the changes you did in here, you can go to Edit, Paste to Scene, and when you render it the next time, it will be exactly the same. So. That was it for today. I hope you liked it. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.